today we will show you the surgical protocol of the implant Swiss your smart choice this is the surgical kit of the implant Swiss as you can see all the drills that you need are arranged nicely with color coding with one drill for each implant diameter and length so you have all the safety that you need you will have all the insertion instruments with our hand driven or hand piece drilling and the prosthetic keys paralleling post the ratchet everything is arranged in a very nice clean small surgical kit this is the great package system of the implant swiss fixture as you can see here and all the information are there from on the outer package once you open the outer package you go inside the inner or the sterile package which is disinfected and sterilized by gamma and all the information of the implants are there from the lot number the size the sterilization date the expiry date and the name of the manufacturer and everything and once you open this outer package you go for the inner package which is a very nice clean glass vial which has the implant inside the sequence of drilling as the following first of all you get the marking in drill and you drill where you decide to place your implants all the way down then you will get the pilot drill which is according to the length of the implant you are using and it will stop by itself as you can see here we finished with the pilot drill and now we go to the fixture drill we start with the 3.3 drill and you drill all the way down as you can see here afterwards if you place 3.7 by 10 then this is the final fixture drill and you drill all the way down in the mandible when you have a hard cortical bone you need to use something called neck drill and this is the neck drill as you can see it here and you drill the cortical bone and that's it so your osteotomy is done as you can see in this diagram you open the implant like this you will see a metal cover here you will remove it and you will hold the fixture driver as you can see here and you pick up the implants from the vial and then you reduce your speed to 30 rounds per minute and you start placing your implant as you can see here the implant is slowly going into the osteotomy till you come flush with the crystal bone and it will stop automatically anyway all right if you feel you want to place the implants a little bit more you can do that till you are sure that it stopped and everything is all right after this you will hold the vial and you will see immediately your healing cap is inside the vial you unscrew from the vial the healing cap you bring it on the top of the implant you screw it in and you're done that's it if you have a very hard bone and you need further to place the implants using the ratchet you can do it in this way this is the finger key and this is the ratchet and you start placing the implant further as you want according to the depth you want to submerge your implants and this is a gradual all right ratchet where you know how many newton centimeters you place the fixture 